Uh, welcome everyone back to the math puzzle crash course. I have a problem that uh, I've seen um, show up in some Facebook posts um, that um, a lot of people are getting this one right, uh, but uh, a lot of people are uh, forgetting about the order of operations. So I wanted to go through this one really quick. It's 15 minus 1, and the 1 is multiplied by 12 divided by 4 plus 1, which is in parentheses. And uh, we want to find out what this is equal to. Um, there's uh, a few people that are getting confused over the idea of implicit and explicit multiplication. Uh, and there are some people that are just trying to solve this left to right, uh, and they're ignoring the order of operations. So need to go through that and um, try to help try to help people out that might be confused. So first of all, I want to just say that the order of operations convention, uh, it's something that always applies. It's not just for algebra. Uh, this applies in, um, in any equation. Um, so what you are going to be looking at doing here is, um, and we'll talk about a little bit later if you're not real familiar or need to brush up on it, but if you do understand order of operations, you know that basically you look for parentheses, then exponents, then multiplication and division left to right, and then addition and subtraction left to right. Well, we don't have, we do have parentheses here. So what that means is we have to look inside the parentheses and solve everything using the order of operations inside of those parentheses. So if we look at that, we've got 12 divided by 4 plus 1 inside of the parentheses. So the, the highest order operation in there is division, uh, because division uh, has precedence over, ad, uh, over addition. So 12 divided by 4 is 3. So if you look down here uh, in, the, in the graphic I've got here, I've got, you've got 12 divided by 4, that's equal to 3. So inside of the parentheses now, we're left with 3 plus 1. Well, 3 plus 1, that's pretty easy. That's 4, right? And this is implied multiplication here. So you have this 1 times the quantity 3 plus 1. Well, what's 1 times 4? 1 times 4 is just 4. Now, of course, we have this minus sign out here. Uh, that also confuses a lot of people. But, uh, but you're left with 15 minus 4 equals 11. And that is the correct answer. You can confirm that uh, on your cell phone calculator or the scientific mode uh, in your Windows uh, you know, computer calculator. Or if you have a scientific calculator, basically any calculator that's capable of handling, handling multiple operations will give you 11. You got to be careful because there are cheap calculators without memory that uh, that will just solve basically immediate execution and they are, are not capable of doing order of operations. Doesn't mean you're correct. It means you're using the wrong calculator or you're using a calculator uh, incorrectly. So, um, you know, one of the issues I run into a lot in the forums is that too many people try to perpetuate this myth that parentheses are required or, you know, that they were taught to solve left to right back in their day. I hear that so much where people say, well, before all this new math, you just solved left to right. And I just want to say that that's, that's false. And I wish people would quit, you know, quit using that as an excuse. But, uh, you know, the truth is our teachers were not as incompetent uh, as they, they would have us believe. Um, and if you believe otherwise, you know, uh, someone in a, in a forum brought up a really good point, and they said, you know, please explain the formula for the area of a circle if you believe everything is solved left to right. I mean, obviously, everybody should have seen this at some point if you've ever had geometry, uh, in, even in high school, but <clears throat> this is a very a very famous formula. A which is area, area equals pi r squared. And so the formula is pi multiplied by the square of the radius of a circle. So if you know the radius of a circle, you square that radius and you multiply it by pi. Now, typically that equation, a formula is written as a equals pi r squared. Uh, there's no parentheses in there, and they even show the multiplication before the exponents going left to right. It makes no difference. Honestly, if you look at it, you could write it as a equals r squared times pi. 
or a equals pi r squared, a equals r squared pi. Those two equations are identical. There's no difference. You're going to get the same answer. So um, I thought that was really a good response to uh, some people who believe that this order, you know, there is no order of operations or it didn't exist back in their day. Um, some people will memorize uh, different acronyms. I personally don't like them uh, because a lot of people will assume that they're a six-step checklist. Uh, the truth is order of operations is only four steps. Parentheses, exponents. Then you have multiplication and division left to right. Then finally, addition and subtraction left to right. Multiplication and division have equal precedent, precedence. Division is just multiplying by a reciprocal, so it's really the same operation. And subtraction is just adding a negative number, so addition and subtraction have equal precedence. You don't do addition before subtraction or subtraction before addition. And even if you did, you're going to get the same answer with addition and subtraction. So what what happens is people are doing subtraction wrong. What I what I see is people will do subtraction as if there were parentheses in there, and they're basically trying to make the negative sign work across numbers that it was never meant to work on. Um, now, if you're over in the UK, maybe Europe, uh, there's different. Uh, some sometimes they they refer to that uh, acronym as BODMUS. Still the same thing. It's uh, brackets, orders, uh, division and multiplication left to right, addition and subtraction left to right. Now, some people will try to tell you that BODMUS and PEMDAS give you different answers because, well, with one, division comes before multiplication, and the other one, multiplication comes before division. And all that means is that person has no idea what they're talking about. They're identical. Division and multiplication have equal precedence regardless of which acronym you use. Uh, and, you know, like I said before, you've got, you know, the formula for the area of a circle follows the order of operations convention, if you look at it, right? Because your R squared, you've got exponents. Two is an exponent of R. So, yes, you do do the um, exponents first. You solve R squared and then multiply that by pi. So um, that's how that works. You know, another thing you can do is you can also say, well, um, you know, it confuses some people that you've got multiplication, division, you know, all these different operations mixed together. Uh, the thing that sometimes people forget is that multiplication is shorthand for addition. It's repeated addition. The multiplication is nothing more than an easy way to write a bunch of addition out. You know, it's easier to write 5 times 5 than 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5. Um, so you, you could take this equation and you could take the 12 divided by 4. You could replace that with multiplication. 12 divided by 4 is the same as 12 times 1 fourth. And then what's 12 times 1 fourth? 12 times 1 fourth is the same thing as adding up 12 1 fourths. So, I mean, I know this looks stupid, but you could write this out as 15 minus the 1 times this whole quantity in here, which is a bunch of 1 fourths to get 12 of them all added together, plus 1, and that equals something. So now I've just changed this whole problem down to just simple addition and subtraction, which hopefully everybody can handle. And if you go through and you solve that now, or some people are going to get confused, is you got to remember there's a minus sign outside of the parentheses. So this little minus here affects everything inside of the parentheses. All these pluses become minuses. If you multiply the minus 1 through this whole thing, which is what you have to do to get, you know, if you're getting rid of the parentheses, you're going to have 15 minus a fourth, minus a fourth, minus 1 fourth, minus 1 fourth, all the way down to minus one, your answer, your final answer is going to be 11. So um, I've, I've, shown, I've shown this in kind of ridiculous detail. I understand that. Um, hopefully, if you do understand order of operations, you got it right away. Uh, but some people need a little bit more convincing. So I went uh, and showed this a couple of different ways. So I hope this has been helpful. And um, please look forward to uh, some further videos. I've got I don't know, 70, 80, 90 some videos out there now. A lot of them are order of operations, some algebra. Um, want to get into some other things too, hopefully some geometry and 
and other subjects. I'm really concentrating on the simple stuff right now um, because I, I see a lot of issues uh, with understanding on some of these basic concepts. So I hope the video has been helpful. Please like, share, subscribe, and see you in the next one.